Hi, welcome back to the cave. Hi. <coughs> Hello. I hope you guys are. Oh. Hi, welcome back to my. <laughs> what I just. <laughs> and I need to start over. Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Haley. Um, today's video is going to be about how I was unconfident and now I'm confident. Um, and I'm gonna kind of go through what happened in that journey um, from being unbothered and unconfident to who I am and having the confidence that I do have um, so I'm excited um, I hope you stay for this video if you need some more like confidence or a confident boost I hope that I can help you with these tools that I've used um, obviously they're different for everyone these are just what helped for me and it took a long time when I tell you it took a long time to get here baby it took a long time so if you're just starting, do not get discouraged if one minute you're like, yeah, I'm a bad bitch. And then the next minute you're like, I hate my entire fucking body. Like, do not dis get discouraged. First of all, that's your like mind saying mean things to you. And we are trying to cut that out. I'm still working on that. I have anxiety and things like that. So I go through a lot of this um, with my mind and how I think. So. Um, with that being said, I'm just gonna go over through. I'm just going to go through some things that like helped me, and I have my little handy dandy notebook. I got man, you got. I don't know. I'm just in my head um, now. I got the Blues Clues theme song, and this is very unrelated. But when Steve came back, and he said that he was proud of me, that hit me that I don't know if that hit y'all but that hit me okay 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 the number one thing you need to do is love yourself for who you are in this moment in this time in this era of you of who you are at this moment I'm fat still I have baby weight I'm I'm still a fat girl and that's not a bad thing please don't be like oh my god don't say that about yourself you're beautiful first of all baby I've always been beautiful regardless how big or small I am okay um no I'm just kidding but really I'm loud I'm obnoxious I'm annoying I'm uh, anxiety ridden um I am crazy I'm fun I will just be there like I am just I'll be there for you I'm just loud it's just who I am and who I've always been. Um, and people think that's too much. So I've always been like, oh, you need to turn down your voice. You need to stop talking. You need to do this. You need to do that. Like, baby, that's not who I am. Yes, there's a time I should be loud. There's a time I should be quiet. And we all know that. We all know social cues. Well, not everyone, but for the most part, you kind of learn. But the people who truly love you, the people who want to be in your life will not think you're too much. They'll actually love you for you. My friends love me for me. I literally can say what the fuck I want to anyone. Anyone. They're like, oh my god. And it's like, if someone's being rude in the store and like, is rude to you, I could be like, why'd you do that? Like, can you not be rude to my homie? Can you not be rude to me? Um... If someone is bullying or something, I could speak up. I've always been that way. Um, do I have anxiety when it comes to all of that? Yes. Yes. I've been conditioned since I was little that I'm too much and I'm too loud. And you're not. You're not too anything for anyone. Whoever wants you in their life, regardless of how you act or are, they will love you for who you are. And that statement mean, is for people who are not like narcissists, who are not abusers, who are not being mean. Like that statement goes for people who are not, you know, um, you, I can, people can call me out on my shit and I don't get upset. I'm like, oh my gosh, thank you. 
like you know what I mean I just I love who I am for me and I finally accepted I am enough I should already realize that nine years ago when I was with my man because he's truly shown me that I am truly enough I I'm enough for anyone for him for my friends for people around me and if they don't like me he's so He's so, uh, if they don't like me, I don't care. He's helped me grow. I'm not saying that a man has to help you grow as a person. I'm not saying that. Mine just helped me. We've been together since I was 19. So he's been with me since, for my 20s. We've been together for almost nine years. So he's helped me grow and just realize, like, I am enough. Why didn't I realize this earlier? That's a great question. I'm not sure. But here I am. Um, so never apologize for being you because we don't want to be sorry for who we are. We are truly amazing. And that's number one. You just have to be you. You have to accept who you are. You have to love who you are. Like I'm fat, I want to lose weight eventually. I'm not in the right mindset to do so, but when I do, I need to love myself and my body currently because I'll never love myself later. When I'm skinny, if I don't love myself now, skinny, when I'm smaller and I don't love myself now, I'm gonna hate myself then. I'm gonna think I'm still the same size. And so you just have to love yourself and you have to accept yourself and you actually just have to sit with yourself and just wow. Like bask in all the glory that you are bask in everything who you are and just love yourself love yourself please like do you the justice to accept who you are to love yourself please i beg of you number two you cannot baby i do youtube i'm on social media okay follow me on tiktok instagram all of that you know twitter i love social media I think it's a great way to make money eventually like for myself I would love to make money off of YouTube I'm gonna be a content creator I'm putting that out there in the universe we are gonna make it happen I'm gonna make money so opinions come and go and usually it's from friends that are no longer friends and that's a hard pill to swallow because baby we were just best friends and now you now you hate me oh my god um no but seriously do not care about what strangers think of you, what people think of you that you went to high school with. I post so many reels on Facebook because I'm getting paid for it. And I could care less if my Facebook friends fucking hate me. You can suck my ass. Because baby, I'm making money. I'm doing my dream job by making money off of Facebook reels. Do not let the opinions of others deter you from what you want to do in life. Do not let the opinions of others stop you from living your best freaking happy life. Because you know what? Those opinions are probably shit opinions and they don't reflect you at all. They reflect those people that are spewing them. Spewing spewing the hatred. They're, they're throwing up the hate to you. And we have no time for hatred. We're living our best lives out here. Anything I care about what you say about me, baby, please. No, I may be, and that's what I think. That's where I go back to, like, people think I'm too much. Like, no, I'm not too much. I'm living my dream, and I'm sorry you can't do that. I'm sorry that you can't live how you want to live without the opinions of others affecting you, so you're going to hate on me. So you got to let those opinions, you got to let them fly, fly away. Okay? Fly away like fireflies. Set them free like butterflies. Just get the fuck out of here. Get out of my face. Swat them down. See? Like, you just can't... You can't care because then your feelings will get hurt. Even though it's those opinions that are gonna hurt your feelings. Those are from strangers that hate themselves. Or people who hate themselves too. You know when you get bullied and people bully you? It's actually a reflection of what they think about them. Themselves. So don't not... Do not worry, please. Please do not worry. Also, <laughs> number three, do things that make you happy. If jumping jacks or jumping rope at 3 a.m. make you happy, go ahead. Do it. If drinking coffee at Starbucks makes you happy, go do it. If you need a drink every time you leave the house, like an iced coffee or a soda, every time you leave the house, do it do it please go if that makes you happy if staying in your pajamas all day makes you happy stay in your pajamas who cares do what makes you happy live life for you 
and you alone because who's going to live that life for you? You. Those other people aren't living their life for you. You have to live your life for yourself. Wear whatever you want because who cares? Who cares? Wear whatever you want. I'm a big girl. I wear crop tops. Do I care? No. I post it on social media. Do I get hate? Yes. I get lots of hate about my fat body. Do I care? No. Because who is paying my bills? Who am I being intimate with? Not them. Are they paying my bills? Are we having coitus? Mm -mm, baby. Your opinions do not matter to me or my life. So I'm going to wear that crop top or that two-piece bathing suit at the pool. And if you don't like it, then you could leave. You don't have to look at me. Why are you so mad I'm wearing clothes? Why are you so mad I'm showing a little bit of my stomach? Why are you so pressed that I'm living my life for who I am? Wear what you want. Wear what you want, baby. Again, be happy. Do what you want. Wear what you want. You got to do, you got to live life for you. You have to live life for you. Please, please live your life for you. And you know how the last thing, number five, I'm sh I could go on and on, but I'm just going to do five. Number five, you, you don't judge other people. You don't make hate comments on other people. You keep your opinions to yourself just like you would want them to keep their opinions to themselves. Because are you paying their bills? No, no, baby, you're not. And if you are paying their bills, you still don't need to put them down. Let them live their life. Now, if you're getting mad that they're hating on you and, like, talking crap, just leave it. Just let it fly. You're going to go back and forth with them. It's not worth it. So don't judge them. If you pray, pray for them. Send them well wishes. Tell them you love them. Um, tell them to have a great day. Have the day you deserve. And just keep just keep pushing. Just keep going. Just go. Just go. You do not need to judge anyone for anything they do, for anything they wear. You don't need to do any of that. Because if you don't want to get judged, you don't judge other people. Now, do people make dumb mistakes? Yes. And you're like, oh my god, yes. Like, my boyfriend, he be doing some dumb shit. And I just be... I don't say nothing. I just be like, mm, okay. If you get hurt doing that, that ain't me. If you get hurt doing that, that ain't on me, okay? So, you can't expect... You can't judge people. Like, we can't be in this vicious cycle of judging others when you don't want to be judged. So, let them live their life. If they're happy, just like you're happy, live their life. Do what you want, be true to you, love yourself within yourself, flaws and all, anxiety and all, depression and all, love who you are, and if you want to work on getting better, like me, I want to lose weight, if you want to work on losing weight, then do that, but you have to love yourself in this moment, in this entirety, in this body, in this headspace, you have to love yourself. Because if you don't love yourself and give yourself grace and love, you're not going to love future you. You're not going to love the work you put in. You're just going to keep thinking all the negative things. You're not going to love you for you, and you really need to. Okay, I lied, and I said we're going to do only five. We're going to do one more, number six, and you need to step outside your comfort zone. Step outside your comfort zone. I was transformed just a couple months ago. Like, I've had confidence like, leading up. I would have days where I'm like, I'm a bad bitch. I'm a bad bitch. And then other days, my anxiety is telling me to hate myself. And anyways, I digress. I don't need to go into anxiety-ridden things. Me and Michael went to a hotel. That's my boyfriend. For his birthday, I wore a two-piece to the hot tub. As you, as I, you heard me, I said, I'm a fat girl. I'm a big girl. Um, I tried it on. We bought it. He literally bought it for me. He made me buy it. He, I went to put it back. He bought it. I put it on. I cried. Because I've never worn a two-piece. I've never not worn shorts to the water. Um, 
and then I started looking in the mirror. I took videos and photos and I got hate on TikTok for it. We went to the pool. I felt like a bad bitch. I took photos in the, oh, the pool, the hot tub. I took photos in the hot tub. Like, I felt such a baddie. And after that, and that was only in March. That, like, that, like, circled, like, that, that was the end point of what I needed. I needed that. I needed him to buy that. I needed him to make me put it on. I needed him to push me out of my comfort zone and make me love myself how he sees me. And it was just transformation, transforming. I I need to go the bottoms. I need a bigger size just because if I'm going to swim with my son, like in the summer, they kept falling down. So I need to get a bigger size. But like, wow. And ever since then, you cannot tell me shit. I'm the baddest bitch. I'm a bad bitch. You can't tell me shit. So get outside your comfort zone. Do things you wouldn't do. Do things you wouldn't do. And love yourself while doing it. Give yourself grace. If I hated myself at that moment, I, it's fine. We're learning. We're all evolving. We're learning. We're learning things. But get outside your comfort zone. Do something you would have never done. And I'm so glad I did it. Because now, hot girl summer. With a baby on my hip. We live in our best lives, baby. So, do what you love, do what you want to do, wear what you want to wear, make yourself happy, don't judge others, and live your best life. Live your best life! Okay, I love you. I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Hit me up on Instagram, TikTok, all of that. And bye!